Hello and welcome back to Tech It Light on the Absolution server. Uh, we're back here at the uh, town and as you can see there's been a little bit of work done on it. So I will talk you through what we've done. Uh, obviously you saw the town hall and this little, little two little houses. Uh, this is currently the library that I'm working on. Look at this idiot. <laughs> He must think he's boss now. Now he's dead. So yeah, this is the library. Uh, there's really not much in here yet. I, I haven't... I ran out of uh, materials to do it, so I've got to go and finish them off. And that's about all there is to the library. Over here is a school that is being built by Cali. Um, haven't finished it yet obviously uh, this is the church I don't remember if I showed you the church so I'm going to show you anyway this is a Z church so I thought was rather cool show it from the outside yeah so this is a Z church with the St. George's flag of course nice uh, the steeple's even got a uh, tune. Uh, I'll see if I can catch that in a minute. And that's that's probably the church. Uh, it's got a little graveyard here. It's got a path that hasn't been finished. That's going to be going all the way around. Gravestone. There you go. I don't know if you heard that. That is the from the steeple. Still working on that. I need to get the tune quite right. Uh, there's another little house over here. That was built by Seth. I think he's just gone for a house. I haven't even decorated the inside of most houses. So yeah, that's that. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, there's these little shops here. Ah, uh, they're just again, like I say, basic. Very, very basic. Nothing inside them yet. It's just gone for the shells from that for now. Of course, all three of these are ident almost identical, uh, just different floors. That one's a bit longer. Uh, this here is the blacksmith that Crimson built. That's pretty good. Uh, here are the market stalls. Uh, just basic market stalls. Uh, pretty simple to build, took minutes. Uh, this is the bakery that Darknell built. And obviously it's closed until further notice. Okay. Let's go and have a look. And the shop's upstairs. It's by far the biggest house on the plot so far. is good. Yeah, it is good. I think the further plans for this one is uh, he's going to be putting, or we are going to be putting a windmill with a load of wheat back here that, with the bakery. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, the docks you've seen, the boats got redone because it was atrocious and I can't do boats. So Dark will help me finish that off. HMS Schmitty. And I think that's about it for the village, uh, for the town. But uh, it is going to be grown. We've already extended uh, the claim block out this way. And we've still got all this over here we can claim, we can use. Um, see if I can see, show you. Yeah, you see the gold blocks on the ground. We can come all the way out to here, so I, want, I would like all this to be residential. I think just houses and stuff. Plus it goes all the way out to here. Uh, I'm going to do something with this big mountain. Uh, probably some, like, some sort of fort or lookout on there. That would be cool. And uh, I've got all this out here as well. So it, it is going to be huge once we're done. I'm just going to keep adding to it, I think. 
so yeah, that's that's it really. Um, let's pop to my home. And I'll show you a couple of things I've been working on that are kind of in the middle of that and the town. Uh, this is just my energy charging room for my redstone cells. Down in the basement is where I'm sort of throwing things together. It's my cactus farm. I actually have cactus. Now on this server, uh, pistons and block breakers are banned, so I've been trying to make a automatic uh, sugarcane farm. I found the one and only way I can think of, and that's using uh, frame motors with frames, but leaving one end of them sticky, so when they work, uh, they'll connect to the um, sugarcane, pull it off, it'll fall off, be picked up by these obsidian pipes and go into the another chest which will go up to the ME computer. Uh, I tried this for a while, One, they did grow, took a while and they, they did pull them off. Um, I actually haven't got the timer, I had a timer here um, but I put it onto the church just so you could hear the tune. Uh, I need to make another one. But I can get a, I'll get a redstone I'll show you. Well, I thought it was rather ingenious way of getting around it, because normally I'd make a sugarcane farm and I'd use pistons to push off the crop. Probably have to make a button actually. Better take some wire, you know what happens, stuff like that. I always forget something. I'll show you what happens when you do this. No, my luck, it, it better work now. It's taken me literally between doing the bits of the town for the library and doing this all day doing this just to try and get the the uh, engines to work the frame motors so that that's as if they've grown the timer is going I think I've set it on five minute timer and it'll go whether they've grown or not and that way you hopefully you'll catch one See, pulls it, sticks to it, obsidian pipe picks it up. So I can show you on this one. And this one goes back because it's gone forward. Oh, I see what I have to do. I see now that, that this doesn't happen every time, it doesn't get picked up every time, so that's a problem. I may lose a few. I'll show you on this one again. Yeah, it pulls it and the obsidian pipe picked it up. So if uh, if any of you want to see how I've actually built this, I will be moving the, all of this over to this side because I've got a chunk loader and it's on this side. I just did it over here to see if it will work. If you want to see the build of this, let me know in the comments and I will do a special episode where I move this and I rebuild it over here and you can see exactly how I built it. Um, I might even expand this and just put it outside. I haven't decided but uh, we'll see. So yeah, if you want to see that let me know. Uh, obviously Cactus Farm is standard Minecraft. Well, that's about it, that's all I've got here today. I just wanted to show you what we've what we've been doing with the town, etc. 
they're not full. Oh, yeah, this switch, when it's uh, turned off, this pump uh, will pump lava out of the tanks and these engines will go, so it'll char they'll charge the reg energy cubes if it's on. Then this pump won't pump and I can fill up my tanks then and these won't move either. Usually when these are out on the quarries or they're full. I'll just leave it on because they need charging. Yeah, nearly there. It's just so I don't waste lava. Yeah, and that's about it really. It's uh, my ME. That's on a Mac, sorry. But yeah, that's it. I've got nothing else. Uh, really to show you, oh, this is my little secret entrance out of my base with a teleporter and there's my thingy. So yeah, uh, that's really, I've got nothing else to show you at the moment with this. Um, if you do want to see the uh, automated ca uh, sugarcane farm, uh, leave a, something in the comments and let me know and I'll, I'll make a special episode for that. I just want to give a shout out to the names that will be scrolling up the screen right now. Uh, Crimson, Darknell, Rubens, Seth, Suitme and Callie. All these people have helped build within the town so far. I'm sure there's going to be more and they're going to help a lot more as well. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Juggernost. I'll put, uh, he does a uh, Twitch and he plays at Sky Factory. It's pretty fun, been watching him quite a bit. I'll put the link in the description and it's in the annotation as well. Oh, there's that church bell. So yeah, go and uh, check him out if you like Sky Factory or any of the Sky Blocks because uh, it's pretty fun. Thank you for watching. If you did like this, please hit like and leave a comment. Subscri subscription would be awesome as well. And until next time, bye for now.